Good morning my beautiful brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Today is Friday the 13th of October 2023. It is 8.56am here in Australia. I hope you're all very well. I hope you've all been blessed. Uh, brothers and sisters, just a very quick video for the moment. Um, I will be uploading my video that YouTube took off uh, a couple of days ago, the day before last, and um, I'll re-upload that. And also, I'm going to do another video today after this one, um, just an encouragement video because I've had a few emails um, that are doubting our redemption and, you know, what if it's a lie and what if this is the script of the devil and all this kind of stuff. So I want to do a massive Bible study with you, showing you from exactly from the word, not from my words, not from my thoughts, but what the Father in heaven and his beautiful Son, Yeshua Jesus Christ, is showing us through their word. And um, so I want to do a great big Bible study with you and uh, to encourage you to know that not a hair on your head will perish, brothers and sisters, and that these days have to be like the days of Noah. They cannot be when we're in great, uh, the great wrath and the vengeance and everything like that. It has to be now in the normal days as in the days of Noah. That is why it comes upon a snare on the whole earth. It wouldn't come on as, uh, as a snare if the whole world was in World War Three. Okay, so I'm going to uh, dedicate my time today to do that Bible study and for you to be encouraged to know that the word of the Lord, the protection of the Lord, the redemption of the Lord is true and sure. Um, <clears throat> just this video I wanted to bring across this morning, a brother had just sent me something and he said um, basically what if um, the timing of the rapture is waiting on us to actually pray for the Father and the Son to help us. And um, immediately came to my mind, absolutely, you know, the Lord's Prayer literally says, Thy kingdom come. We are supposed to be praying this. And this is why Yeshua, Jesus Christ, actually said, when you pray, pray like this. Okay, so I thought what I would do is make a quick video and I pray, sweet Father, that you... Uh, please bless this video and please uh, send this video far and wide. And brothers and sisters, I pray that you may openly confess this with your mouth. Say it with me, say it by yourself, whatever it may be, but say it openly and, um, and confess it with your mouth. And we are to pray for the kingdom to come. So I'm going to read the scripture verse here in Matthew 6. We'll start at verse 5. And when you pray... You shall not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say to you, they have their reward. But when you pray, enter into the closet, and when you shall have shut the door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when you pray, don't use vain repetitions as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not like unto them, for your Father knoweth the things ye have need of before you ask him. After this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever. Amen. I pray, sweet Father, that you may hear our prayers, and that we are praying for your kingdom to come. And just to verify that in Revelation 22, right at the end, it says, He which testifies these things say, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, please pray this prayer. Take the time with Father. Pray the prayer that Yeshua Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, asked us to pray to the Father. And confess it with your mouth. 
we need to pray for the kingdom to come, brothers and sisters. And it's, it is such a wonderful point my brother made to me this morning. What if he is waiting for us actually to ask? We just assume all these things, but what if he's waiting for, just like a parent, I just was waiting for you to ask me to help. And as soon as we all ask, brothers and sisters, he will come. So I'm going to leave you with this short little video and I'm going to upload my uh, removed video and I'll also be working on um, a great big Bible study for the assurance through the scriptures, not through my thoughts or words, but through the Father's will and his words um, of our redemption, of where we are in time, of the fact that this hasn't all um you know, this isn't something that happened in 70 AD. A lot of people, you know, have uh, emailed me asking me about, you know, are these things already come to pass? Is the rapture real? What if we're being tricked? Brothers and sisters, realize that in the last days, in the last moments, in the last hours, in the last minutes, the enemy is going to work day and night tirelessly to deceive us and to for us to question and doubt. Remember what it says in Revelation. Those that doubt and lack faith. Okay. It's not good. It is absolutely not good. We should not be doubters. The Father's grace and mercy is beyond anything that we can compare. And he is a loving Papa. And he will. He will send his son to come and get us. We must believe. We must have faith. It's through our faith that we are saved brothers and sisters okay so i'll leave it with that my father bless you may the sun bless you and if i don't see you in the next video i will see you in the skies god bless you i love you bye bye